Manny Machado is a player for the San Diego Padres who signed with the Padres because he studied their minor league system and loved it so much. Oh, and they were the only team to give him $300 million over 10 years. Five years ago, he signed that deal, $30 million a year for 10 years, hence 300 over 10. But his agent, Dan Lozano, is so good that he got an opt-out after five years of the deal just to say, hey, I'll be 30 years old, 31 years old. Let's see what's going on in the world. Well, here we are five years later. The Padres have become a juggernaut. They have the second highest payroll in baseball, which is staggering. Third highest behind uh, Mets and Yankees. Just staggering. All-stars everywhere. He's playing on a team with Juan Soto, Xander Bogarts. Incredible, right? Manny Machado stands up this weekend and says, I love you, San Diego, and I still love our farm system. You guys are the greatest, but I'm out of here. I gave you till February 16th to sign me to a long-term deal or else I'm gone. I was thinking to myself, you are in a long-term deal. You're year six of a 10 or year five of a 10 year deal. 30 million a year, Manny. What's the problem? Well, Manny Machado gave some quotes and said, markets change from when I signed five years ago. It's changed tremendously. Things change and evolve. And as a player who's about to opt out, it's pretty good to see. <laughs> Let me try to help out any executives listening to nothing personal. Stop with the player opt-outs, even though they're demanded. If you stop giving in to them, they won't be able to demand it anymore. You want to do a little collude, do a little collusion. Do not give players opt-outs because they only use them to screw you. They don't use them. If Manny Machado were hurt or sucked, you'd have him for five more years at 30 million a year, and you'd be despondent. Now that he's played well, he's threatening to leave you and is going to leave you because he wants more than 30 million a year and he wants an extra five years tacked on because everyone else is signing till their 40s. Why not me? Why not now? So what are you going to do? The Padres offered him five additional years, which would have been a $15 million deal. They offered him another $105 million. So he would have had a 15 year, $405 million deal. Five years ago, if the Padres said to Manny Machado, we will offer you 15405, but there's no opt-outs and no no trade clause. Guess what? He would sign on the bottom line so fast your head would spin off like a top, like inception, and it wouldn't stop. Are we real or are we dreaming? Well, the Padres are offering 15405, but now he wants more. The fact of the matter is, all he has left is five years, $150 million. So in his mind, if I beat 5150, I'm opting out. <clears throat> and I'm not opting out for an additional 5105, because then that would only be 10 at 255. Are you following the math? 10 years, 255 is what the Padres offered him today. Five years ago, if they had done it, it would have been 15405. But now it's 10 255. Machado looks at the market because what agents do is they call the other teams and they say, hey, are you going to be 10, 255? They say, hell yes, I am. So Machado says, well, I'm negotiating until February 16th. And after that, I be seeing you, Henry. Are Padres fans going to boo Machado? Is Machado not excited about the season? No. He said, I want to win a championship for this fine city. Of course he does. Because if Machado plays well and the Padres win a championship, he's going to get way more than 10 255 Way more. Because someone's going to be super excited. Yes, the loser of the Otani sweepstakes. I'm going to give you one of the great wait to sees of all time. An early wait to see. Coca, get ready to book it. Shohei Otani will sign before Manny Machado. Because Manny Machado will want to nuzzle right up there above all of these guys who signed this year, the Bogarts and the Seegers last year and the Betzes and the Devers. He wants to be above all those guys. Maybe Judge, uh, maybe Trout, definitely over Giancarlo. But he's going to wait to see where Shohei signs and how much he gets. Because if Shohei gets to 60, then Manny can say, hey, Give me 400 for 10, baby. Just you wait. Make that official, all right, Coca? Manny Machado will not sign as a free agent until Shohei Otani does. I assume that baseball owners are going to be addressing this very issue when they have their economic reform committee. 
because the power of the players to use these opt-outs to hurt teams and to go from team to team is absolutely staggering. And it's got to stop. Well, it doesn't have to stop because the truth is it's just business.